everyone. Um, welcome to the Get Your Craft Organized or Craft Room Organized or something like that collab. It'll be in the um, thumbnail and also in the description. But this is hosted by Peppermint, who has been Peppermint Pidey, but I, she said she might change her channel name, so I don't know if she already did. If she did, it will also be linked down below. Uh, for your ease in going to her channel and there are several others of us posting now each month we have a different theme and this month um, of may our theme is actually paints and paint supplies canvases things like that you know spray paints whatever um, and i'm going to be I'm, I'm doing that but i never got to the buttons last month because last month was beads findings buttons, sequins, whatever. So I didn't do the buttons last month, so I wanted to show you. I actually just spent the day organizing my business-related button stash, which is all I had shown this case before, which I had gotten at a yard sale. But the recollections case, I don't know what this is called. I, um, hang on. But when you open it, yeah, um, okay, there is a tray that lifts out. I do not want to drop this because I just spent the day organizing and going through my inventory system. So this is the tray that lifts out. So things that were in bags, um, I mostly left in the larger bags. I have some Tim Holtz ones. All of these things are actually in my jewelry business inventory. Uh, and I went and double checked them and I coded them with the right inventory code. Um, there's some these are cup buttons from Potomac Beads, so I kept them all together. So I'm going to put this aside, and um, I'll be right back. And then under the tray, um, it has all these dividers and things. So most of my buttons are from like Joann's or Walmart's, other than those. Or in the little bags here, I have some from Art Beads. Um, in the back here, I have some holiday um penguins there's like a long slot in the back which i can't move right now but poinsettias and then i have some that are shell um i have ethnic ones back here one ethnic one that looks like this i don't know what it's made out of but i got that at um joanne's i think yeah and then i have some um bone flower shaped ones so kind of the the natural stone or the holiday ones are in the back slot and then i have them sort of colored uh, sort of sorted by color so moving up here i have clear and pearl and silver with pearl you know pearls 
These are from one particular vendor. They're all check glass buttons. So I wanted to keep them together. And same thing, um, these are also check glass from a particular vendor. Then I have sort of pinks, oranges, and reds in here. I have, um, I think, I don't know why I separate, these are like a deep blue iris, but I also have blue back here. I maybe need to switch that. This is all purples and it includes check glass and also ones from different stores, you know, like that. Um, these are iridescent purple and some little flower ones, little ones, and these are really cute. And, um, you know, bigger ones. I have some over here that it's either copper or um, brass kind of looking. In here, I this is kind of wasted space. I thought I had more stars, but they're in my non-business stuff. Anyway, um, these have a star pattern on them, and then these are stars, and so I put them in here. And I was, I have some that are in my blues that have a shape of a moon, but they're not a moon. But aren't these gorgeous? Look, they're a dragon. Gorgeous. I have all these I need to use, you know. Then over here, I have silver with black, and then just silver, antique or otherwise. Um, this one I used one, so the bag is kind of puffing up. And I don't want this to be a real long video, so you get the idea. All my silver is here, and then my like Tierra Cast pewter silver is back here because I ran out of room in silver. And then these are all gold, um, and these are gold and black, and then these are just black, but they're not uh, metal, they're black or black and white. And I think that. But, oh, and then I have some leaves, uh, which maybe should be in the back specialty, but I have this dark olivine color. I thought those would be cute as pendants or focals, um, maybe even mixed together. I don't know. And I got them way back in 2012, actually the first year I was doing, doing this. So that is my work button collection. Um, I'll call it my business button collection. I have quite a few. I don't need to buy any more. And there's, I'm missing a couple, but I think I put them in with clasp because they're like Z hooks, even though they're in my system as buttons. So I need to fit, change that. And then I have a couple that were marked as leather, but they're not really a button. They're like a wagon wheel shape. I think I have them in with my leather. So that kind of thing. So I have a couple I still have to find, but this is all my business buttons are in this case. And um, what I had them in before that was just all in this large oversized shoe box and um, dirty, dusty. But anyway, um, and I couldn't find anything. So this way, at least I can find the stuff. The shoe boxes are great. They fit on my shelf. Whereas this, I'm not so sure will, but um, it'll stand up somewhere. And hope, I don't know if I want to stand it up, you know, on its end back here because then it'll everything on top anyway will slide so we'll see i'm going to come right back and show you my non-business paper kind of crafting stash of buttons it's actually even more than this okay non-business stash this is my button stash um i at one point i was starting to get myself very organized i thought and i bought these at dollar tree and um, they, they do well because I don't use buttons that much. So I sort of have them in here by color. Purples, blues, these little mini mixes I think were from Walmart, I think. Um, and then oranges, yellows, some browns. I don't know where I got these from, but um, some greens and some other purples. And then back here is some naturals and whites and maybe some black, I don't know. And then these are mostly all heart-shaped. And most of them, I don't remember where I got them, um, but I got these this bag or this container, not this container, but a different one, full of these um, heart-shaped buttons. But they're, they're nice and flat on the back, and they're sort of modern hearts. And then I have a couple in here that were gifted to me. But anyway, these, and then other pinks and reds and whites, um, 
buttons as well. So mostly pinks um, back in here, different shape buttons and in here. And then um, also there's a couple like flower oddball flowers and things. I think these were gifted to me, those flowers and some hearts in red, pink, and white. So that that is um, that. And then I actually had this in my business inventory box, but I cannot find where I got it from. I think Blumenthal is um, Michael's. But I don't have it in my business button inventory, so I'm thinking I didn't buy it for that. So it belongs in here. And then I have this more um, blue. These two were in a, a container together, and I separated them in the dark and lighter blues. And then this was a mix, I think, from Walmart. I don't, I don't know. Um, I have a C on it. I think that meant for crafting. I'm <laughs> I can't even remember. So these are Dollar Tree containers, the ones that you get in the kitchen area. And they just kind of fit in there nicely. So that's my bottom box. And then this one sort of fits on top because um, otherwise I'd be in trouble. So I have some little jars from Dollar Tree. I guess we used to be able to get these at Dollar Tree. Um, Crafter Square Notions. And I have several of them. That was one. This one's more bright colors. And this one's more blacks and browns. I probably put some of these in that other container. But that's what I have left. And then these I had gotten online. I don't know where I got them. It was an online store. But I can't remember which one it was. But this is um, 28 Lilac Lane brand of decorative embellishments which includes buttons little seed beads um i think there actually are some sequins in here too so i have this color i don't know if they even tell you the color in here um yeah this is called on lilac lane and this one was yuletide greetings reds and greens and this one is called through the woods and this one is called fiesta um i don't know if any of these are available but i guess you could search on 28 lilac lane and see and this is how they come in these little jars so i kept them in there and then i have quite a number of these little packets of, of fun decorative things some of these were gifted to me, little, or no, I might have had these at a yard sale, little watering cans and little um, wait, uh, shift wheels, some buttons galore, which I don't know, and this one I thought was in my business inventory, and I know I used one for something, but I can't remember what. I think paper crafting. And I have some uh, dress it up buttons with the uh, tulips. I have dress it up buttons, vintage Vogue. Uh, I have Le Bouton favorite findings. I thought these were nice and kind of vintagey looking. Ivory and gold color. Uh, Blumenthal. They might have been Michael's. This was gifted to me. All these different, some cute butterfly ones. And dress it up again. This I think I got at Walmart maybe for on clearance. But they're um, gardening type things. And then some more that were gifted to me, monkeys and these cute ones that have designs on. So anyway, I don't need to show you all of them, but you know, I just stuck the packets in here, in the packets or in a bag that if the packets tore or whatever. And so these are all my, my non-business inventory buttons. And the only other thing I have them in is this, and these were just like from my bedroom you know when you buy clothes and you get little extra buttons and threads well this is where they landed i might just take them out of the baggies get rid of the threads and um or make tassels with the threads or something and put these in another little dollar tree um container i think they'll all fit in there and it'll just be a mix or throw them in the dot one of these other like this one Oops, this one's coming undone. This one doesn't have very much in it anymore. So I may take them out of the bags and put them in there. 
and I thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to check out Peppermint and all the other lovely ladies that are participating in this collab, and I'll see you next month if I haven't already said that to you. Bye. <laughs>